Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natasha and I'm an international beauty photographer from Berlin. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your workflow for a fast and efficient image selection. Many photographers know it, a great photo shoot is over and the SD card is full of pictures. After the conception, organization and the shooting comes the last most important part of the photo shoot, the post-production. A lot of photographers struggle with it because they haven't found the right method to select their images. In my past, it used to take me hours and sometimes days to choose the best images from a shoot. I used to sit down and compare images and often I just couldn't decide and I shifted the image selection for days. After many years, I finally found a workflow and in this video I show you how I managed to select my images in less than 30 minutes and get the best results. A little side note in advance, I use this technique just for my personal projects when I can be totally free with my image selection. In my photo productions for a client, the workflow is completely different. The client selects the pictures and tells me which images need to be edited. Often there is a specific idea of the results, so I listen to my clients and fulfill their wishes. But back to my technique. I shoot an unbelievable amount of pictures during a session in one day. Sometimes 500 to 3000 pictures per model. In order not to get lost in this flood of images, it's very important to find an efficient workflow. This affects the entire process from the creation of the images to the final retouched results. If you select too many images that you like, then you will also spend a lot of time editing them. The focus of your image selection should therefore be on the pictures you want to retouch. Therefore, a good image selection process can save you a lot of time and money. During my shoots, I shoot directly into the laptop via the tether shoot function. For this, I connect my camera with the laptop and start Capture One. It's an image selection and handling software that also includes a RAW converter and many settings and options for editing. The tether shoot function is always important for me, because I can check the light and sharpness directly in the shoot on a big screen. Also the model and the makeup artist or the client can see and judge the outcome of the shoot directly. The pictures I will show you today were shot last year during a personal photo shoot in Los Angeles. The model I was working with was really good in posing, which allowed me to work very fast and efficiently. We created three different looks with three different wigs and ended up with only around 550 pictures, which I will now take you through my selection process. Capture One as well as Adobe Lightroom have a rating option system which I like to work with. You can rate your images from 1 to 5 stars or you can assign colors to the images. This is very helpful because you can easily decide which pictures are better than the others. In my opinion, this is the best and fastest way to select images. So let's jump into Capture One and start. So in the first step, I go through all the images once. I only pay attention to the cropping, the sharpness and the poses of the model. If a picture is cropped too much or I don't like the composition or the model has an unfitting expression, the pictures are sorted out. All the other images that I like at first place move on to the next round of selection and receive a one star rating. I usually prefer to take one image more than less to the next round because it's the very first non-specific selection. So in the first step, I just skim the images to reduce the large number. After this step, I usually have about a third of the images with one star. And in our case, this reduces the number from 550 to 150 pictures and I'm very happy with it. Next step is to have a look at just my one star rated images and go through them in a little bit more detail. This will take more time for the second star selection. I pay more attention to the facial expressions of the model and check the sharpness of my pictures. If an image does not have the right focus, it will be sorted out. About half of the pictures with a one star rating don't make it to the second round. The other half qualify and get a two star rating. This decreases the amount of pictures from 150 to just 70 pictures. 
For my third star rating, I just look at the pictures with two stars. This step depends on how many sets I shot. In this example, I photographed the model with three different wigs. All the different colors looked so good on her and transformed her into a different person. So in this step, I compare similar images from one look with each other. The easiest way for this is to line up all the portraits side by side. That way I can quickly see the differences in the comparison. If a pose is too similar, then I go with the better one. After the portrait with the red wig, I look at the macros and so on. What I like a lot about Capture One is that I can click away the images that didn't make it into the selection and only the images that did remain in the preview. Per set and per pose, I chose my one or two favorites. So in the third round of selection, I have the best images from each pose. This step lowered my images from 70 to 34. In the fourth step, I compare the best poses of a look and decide which pose complements the look the best. I also make sure that there is always a balance between portraits and close-ups, so that I have enough choices for each look. I get a variety of results using this method. In this step, I usually choose only 3 to 6 images per look. These are the best images and should not be too similar. The number of the third star rating is now reduced to 19 pictures with 4 stars. I'm getting closer to my final selection. For the 5 star rating, I have all images with a 4 star rating listed next to each other. I make sure that a maximum of 3 images per look remain in this rating. If there are more, I sort them again and downgrade the weakest image to 4 stars. It's important to me that there are different poses of each look. Also, there should be different expressions in the portraits and close-up. Each look and the model's portfolio should be presented differently and look varied. So this is my final image selection of 6 very different pictures. Each picture stands out and differs from the others. From the initial 550 pictures, these are my top 6 that made it through my selection. The explained rating workflow is a very simple method that any photographer can use to quickly filter out the best shots. A clearly structured workflow saves a huge amount of time, which is best used directly for other exciting projects. And of course you are free to add more images to your final selection, find your own way to use this method. And this is my final selection as retouched results. If you also want to have more variation and a bigger selection for your next shoot, you should watch my latest video. It gives you some tips and tricks on how to get better results, especially when working with beginner models.